Psalm 10, verses 11 and 12. He has said in his heart, God has forgotten. He hides his face. He will never see. Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the humble. Throughout the Bible, we see and hear the boastful silenced by God. We read of characters like Goliath, Nebuchadnezzar, Jezebel, who rose up with pride against God and God's people. And that is what the psalm is talking about here. When the wicked say in their heart, God has forgotten, God will never see. And that is the extent of the arrogance. God will never see this. People are wicked because they convince themselves that God is not interested in what goes on here on earth. They've convinced themselves they are godless and they believe that God is not interested in the affairs of life. We are, we are running our own life. There's no God watching us. And having gone unpunished for so long, evil people grow in arrogance and they see God's forbearance as a sign of his disinterest. That if God is patient, it means he's not interested. Contrary to that, God is very interested in what happens on his earth. And he rules in the affairs of men. Before Goliath met David, he had assumed that nothing could touch him. He was too tall, too big, too huge to be conquered. There was nobody his size. He defied nations and their gods, and he defied Israel and the God of Israel, Jehovah Almighty. And he thought he was high and mighty, nothing could touch him until he came across a teenager called David with a sling and a stone. And that brought his boasting to an end. Because God has a way of bringing people who are high and mighty down with the lowest of weapons. He's not going to bring something your size. He's going to bring something you despise and use it to bring the wicked down. Watch how God defeats the wicked. He does it in style. And that was the situation of Nebuchadnezzar. He was at the height of his success. He had conquered every nation. He had subjugated the nations and their gods. He had gone to Judah. And he had brought down the temple of God in his mind. There was nobody as great as he was. He had conquered everything. He had conquered God. He had conquered God's people. And he boasted. Until he met another teenager called Daniel. Daniel came into his palace, introduced God to the palace. And one day God rose up and told Nebuchadnezzar, I'm taking you below where any human being goes. You're going to be like an animal. God has a way of bringing the high and mighty down. And don't ever, don't ever assume that because people are powerful, that they can get away with whatever they do. God rules in the affairs of men, whether the men acknowledge him or not. Nebuchadnezzar didn't acknowledge God. Goliath didn't acknowledge God. But God doesn't care whether you acknowledge him or not. He is still God and he will show himself strong. So God does not forget. He will rise up and he will deliver the humble and the helpless from the hand of the wicked. That is our assurance and that is our faith. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you do not forget your children. Arise and silence the voice of the wicked in our land. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. He will do it. I'll catch you again. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.